So I had a grand idea to come into the blind with this one. And this one. <laughs> we got an eight year old and a three year old out in the blind today. Yeah, thank you. We have snacks. We have Nintendo Switch. We have iPads. We have goldfish. Everything. And we are ready to go. So, we'll see. This spot is mainly uh, for gun. So, but you never know. We just were hoping for a fat dog to walk by tonight. So, we'll see, right? That's all good. I want to get one. Shoot one out there. Yeah. What do you think? You got your goldfish camp? Yeah. Brogan's got the other video camera, so that'll be interesting. But here we are. And you got your cool camo on, right? Right there. Yeah, there's a deer right there in your shirt. Give, it, give my thumbs up. And it knocks.
Bigfoot. Yeah. We're gonna go find Bigfoot this morning. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dad coming. Dad coming. So we shot a nice six point yesterday, last night. We're hoping it bed down in this area. We had to wait some hours because it didn't die quite yet. So we're going to find it right now. At least try to. Um. We're just trying to find it. All right, a little update. I'm headed back out right now. I'll try to make this short and sweet. Headed back out right now. I went out this morning with uh, Brogan and Cam, my eight-year-old and three-year-old, and was hoping that there was gonna be a more clear path on uh, where he went. I, uh, I shot him a little far back, I know, so I'm pretty sure that he's going to be passed away in his first bed. So we let him lay overnight, headed back out, and I brought in my buddy Kyle. Uh, he's meeting me out there right now to help me find it. So I am colorblind. Uh, I can't see blood at all, so it's a little difficult for me. So I knew where he went in at because I earmarked, obviously, in my mind where, you know, I kind of earmarked the last place I see him. Obviously, you see that on TV shows, anyone tell you how to track that's the last place, first place you should start. So I hit that point and I I can't see blood. I have no clue which way he went. There's tracks everywhere, obviously out there. So I chose to back out and go back out uh, with someone that can help me. I don't expect my eight year old and three year old to uh, be able to help too much um, to track a deer because they don't really know what they're looking for yet. So, so we're gonna give her heck. Unfortunately is a marginal hit, you know? I'm um, hoping we recover it. It's a special deer. I probably wouldn't shoot a deer of that nature uh, Primarily because I'm kind of at a point where if it's not going on the wall, there's no point to shoot it I can shoot a doe for meat but uh, I had my boys with me and Brogan asked me like ten times in the blind to shoot it And I'm trying to get them more into hunting and be excited about it And it was just a special moment and he actually spotted the deer before I did so I'm really hoping we recover it um, for the sake of the special moment that we got to share last night from, uh, from me and the boys. So hopefully it all works out and we can find him out here. So it's about just under 70 degrees. So I'm really hoping we find him so he isn't uh, spoiled. So we'll give her heck. Well, yesterday morning uh, was awesome. Uh, I brought out a tracking dog to uh, help us out. Obviously uh, not a gigantic animal by any means. Uh, nothing that I would put on the wall, nothing that I would write home about, but the experience of being there with my boys and being able to share that is the reason that I took that animal. Uh, my eight-year-old and my three-year-old was watching, and as you could tell in the video, Brogan was uh, asking me to shoot it a couple different times. So very excited that we got the animal and we recovered it, and uh, I got to share that moment with them. And it was pretty cool. I mean, how special is that? So, uh, you know, the memories and the tradition made along the way and, and bringing that, them up into hunting is is what, I'm, uh, what I want to do. So uh, very excited that we found the animal. I'll be making a nice plaque of them and putting them on the wall next to a cool picture. So very blessed. Yahoo!